Hey everyone, this is Gleb and I want to explain a very difficult question that everyone seems to ask. What's the order of operations in Cypress? Is it asynchronous? Do I have to use that then everywhere? When can I print the variables using Scilog? So let's look at this. Imagine I'm loading the page using SciVisit, then I'm getting the number of to-dos and then I want to print it to the command log. Well, I probably have to get the variables somehow, like the number of to-dos. So I'll say n. Right now n is unknown. Once I get to do this, I can say then to do, and I can assign you know n to do this. So can I simply say side log n? Right now notice it prints nothing. If I insert a string and I say to-dos and try to capture a value of this variable, it says to do's undefined. So the log happens after getting the number of to-dos but it prints undefined. I do have a separate video about, you know, style log, but here's my rule of thumb. When you're using a variable that comes from the application, comes from the page or from network requests, it, from site picture, site location, site, you know, get cookie. If it comes from the page, then you have to use that then. Even if you can assign it immediately, if you use it right here, look at this variable and the value of this variable is coming from the application. We have to use Sci command to get this value. That means you have to use it that inside that then after you get it, then the <laughs> pun intended, then the value will be correct. Number to do is equal to two. Again, if this value that you're trying to use, this variable, if it gets its value from the page, you have to use that value inside it then that happens after you get from the page. It could happen immediately, that's fine, but it has to be after you get this value inside that then, then you can use it. Now, on the other hand, let's say you want to print something from a fixture. At first, you're like, okay, let's say Sci fixture, and let's see if I have any fixtures in this project. Let's say free items. So if I say Sci fixture free items, that JSON, okay. Obviously, the value will be inside the then block. So if I get, you know, this, I can say side log this again. The value comes from a Cypress command. That means we have to use the then to print it. But if we, for example, import the fixture directly using import items from fixtures free items, when we let our bundler to actually import JSON put it stringified into the JavaScript object, maybe parts or whatever, but it's known immediately. In that case, we can say scilog fixture has, and let's say items link, probably don't need this. Okay, we can use it immediately because it comes from the task, not from the application. So that's why we don't need to use that then. Okay, so this is the rule. If a value trying to use comes from application, from a uh, page, from site fixture command, from a network request, from network intercept, from the server, you have to use that value using that then callback. Otherwise, if it's part of a test itself, if it's known immediately, statically, then you don't need to use it.